Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, guys, we are going to be covering the basics of farming. So I'll get into the reasons why you need to go. In. Well, it's a good idea to get into farming. Uh, this is like a part two of my early money in No Man's Sky. So if you want to check out part one, I'll stick a card above the video and a link in the description go check it out if you're still after some cash in your early days into no man's sky so without further ado sit back grab a cold snack and we'll get straight back into the video okay on with the video so we are going to be covering the basics of farming um and what i mean by that is the buildings that go with it so a couple of stages to this video first of all the thing you're going to need the most is berry technology. This is when dug up turns into salvage data. You're going to need as much of this stuff as possible. Grab it from the planet you're on. Use your analysis visor. Scan for berry technology. Dig it up. It's really valuable. And I know that you probably want to sell it. But to be honest, it's worth more with, for blueprints up at the Nexus. Which is where we're going next. So hold on to your pants and we get straight to the Nexus. Okay, over at the Nexus, you're going to want to head upstairs to where all the terminals are, where uh, Nada and Polo is. Hopefully by now you know who uh, those geezers are, but we're going to head up there as quick as we can. We go up this ramp, take a sharp left, and we want to head in here. Right, so as you head in here, there is a terminal called the Construction Research Station. Hit it straight away and go onto Construction Modules, and you'll see large prefabs. Um, now, there's also, you can get all of these because they're great for building with, but the ones we're going to be covering today is the square room, a corridor, and a biodome. There are lots more to get here, and as I said, they're really worth having. I've got most of them. I could really free them up, to be honest with you, because I've got about, I don't know, 60 uh, berry technology on, uh, in my safe at the moment. But for now, we're just going to cover the square room, the straight corridor, and the biodome. So this is on a tier system, so you'll start off with this one, and you've got to free up the uh, blueprints as you go down with your berry technology. Like, for instance, this... Uh, this corridor here is five salvage data. So this is a, the kind of prices they're going to charge you for them. Once you've got all those units, head on back down to the planet. And as if by magic and the power of video, we'll head back down to the planet. Okay, back down on the planet. Um, straight off the bat, these buildings that we're going to be uh, putting up today are powered. So if you don't have any power, I think we can probably get some power from here. Go to your construction station. I think it's here. So buildable technology. Yes, you can. So you can power them off a solar panel and a battery and some wire or a biofuel reactor. They're really expensive to run. So I'd go for the battery and the solar panel. Um, again, you've got to free those up with berry technology uh, salvage data. So get that. Uh, I've got some out here which I'm going to borrow. Now, we'll use this little piece of land which I flattened out out here, and we'll do a very, very basic biodome setup. So first of all, we go to structures, and we'll put up a square room. Right there. Now you're thinking, that's a nice little square room. How do we get in? Well, you're going to need a corridor. Hence the fact why I said you'll need a corridor. So let's get a corridor. I think this one will do. Right, let's get it in. Boof. And we still can't get in. No, we can't. Because I forgot I was an idiot. Okay, there was one more thing that you actually needed from the Nexus. The, a very, very important blueprint. Because I'm an idiot. You need a door. So put a door in it. Then you can actually get in your building. There we go. Look, we're in already. Okay, the next thing you need to put onto this. I usually put a corridor after this. So let's put down a corridor. Like so. 
and then, and then, we're going to stick our biodome down. Right. So as you can see, it's asking for power. All of the rooms are dark. And as if by magic, I've got a uh, solar panel grid up, there, up, up on the top of my building up there. I always put my solar panels up the top if possible. Keeps them out of the way. Table. Power. Power. And we shall take a feed off this battery. And we're just going to plug it into any of these bits down here. Like so. And then, as if by magic, everything is lit up. Now you'll notice it's got a pool of water going on around the outside. And we've got 13 places to plant our plants that we will eventually make money out of. Now, you're probably saying to me, well, I don't know how to make plants. Well, that's easy. Well, I say easy. It's a bit long-winded. But bear with me, guys. It's worth it. You'll need to take the build the base. You've probably already done it. The build the base uh, or expand the base mission. And follow all the missions from the overseer. And you will eventually end up with this guy, which is the agricultural engineer, prospector. Do all of his missions, because every mission you get, you will get a, a, a blueprint for a new plant. You'll get the blueprint also for the hyperponics trays. If you don't want to build a biodome, you can build these little trays. You can fit four plants in each. Or... Uh, so for everyone, you'll, be, you'll get things like uh, the recipe for... Uh, frost wart and solar vines, fungal clusters, gamma weed, gravity no hosts, and then you can. What it will do is send you off to a. His missions will send you off to a planet where you have to grab the original plants. And I would make note that those plants will take an, another mineral from that planet. Okay, so what I mean by that is that if we're going to specialist. Let's go to farming. If you want to plant cactus flesh, you'll be able to grab some cactus flesh from a planet, but you'll also need some pyrite for the original for the first plants. Okay? Hope that makes sense. Right, well now I'm gonna take you over to my farm and I'll show you why this is all worthwhile. Right, so uh, let's grab into this teleporter. And We'll see you in a bit. Right, we have landed in my planet where I've put my just started a small farm up. And this farm is a very small liquid explosives fact, uh, farm. So at the moment, I am growing fungal clusters, I am growing some cactus. You'll notice that there's a lot of fungal clusters because that's there's a lot of that needed for the, the recipe. And I also am growing some more dye in it, which we don't need too much of. And the reason why I'm growing all these, as I said, was for liquid explosives. So the good thing with these uh, biodomes is you don't have to go around every single plant. You just press E on the terminal and it farms you all up. See, I've got 1,300 cactus flesh out of that. And we go into here and we get another 450 fungal mold, some more cactus flesh because there's a couple of random plants in there. And we get some uh, more fungal mold from that one. You can see the pattern growing here that I'm into fungal mold at the moment. Okay, so as you're doing the missions on the expand the base, um, expanding the base mission, you will come across the science guy and the weapons guy, the exocraft. That's where you get all your blueprints for all of that kind of stuff. Now, this, I believe it's the science guy that will give you the blueprints for... Let me just pull it up. Liquid explosives. Now, if you look at where it says liquid explosives, it requires acid and unstable gel. Well, acid is made from mordite and fungal mold. An unstable gel is made from cactus flesh. And if you look at the total value of that one liquid explosive, it's 800,000 units. This is where it starts to make you money. So I've got some unstable gel already, but we'll make up some acid. 
So let's make one of those. If we can make another one, we can make three of those. Let's make some more unstable gels. And out of that, we will be able to make some liquid explosives. Okay. So, also on the um, expanding the base module, you will be able to craft or get the blueprint for, sorry, to get the galactic trade terminal. So you can put that in one of your rooms. They only sort of mount on these walls and these prefabs. They don't, you can't do it in a normal uh, sort of metal or wooden building. And they're powered from the uh, the power that you connect up. I'm I'm very lucky here. I've got a power source, so I'm just drilling power straight away. I could really recommend you doing that. It saves you having to mess around with solar panels and plug straight in there. So what we're going to do is go to the Galactic Trade Terminal. You'll notice I don't have a lot of money at the moment because I've just been buying ships non-stop. And we're going to sell our liquid explosive. Three million straight away. That's off just those small amount of biodomes. Now there's a, another really, really good um, high priced commodity and that is circuit boards. So I'm going to be building a circuit board farm as well. So just out of this one building I should be able to get about, ooh, I don't know, about six million per harvest. Which is brilliant because I can do this and then shoot off to my other mineral mines which I can gather about between 10 and 15 million every eight hours I think so it's a really good way of making money if you're uh, just starting off it's also really good fun to do because you can do some really great designs with these they do stack um, there's some really really good ways of uh, just passing the time with No Man's Sky if you're into building and you get to do all the missions and get all the other stuff with it as well like the Exocraft so I hope that's been a little bit of help for you uh, as I said, there is uh, another video that I've done for mineral mining. That was like part one. Um, and putting all these parts together, I'm, I've got some more planned for the next couple of days, which will go up onto YouTube. If you put them all together, just as a matter of you start the game up, you go and harvest all your resources that you've uh, been setting up, you can make a lot of money. So expect another video soon for part three. And if you've liked this one, don't forget to click the like button because that really helps uh, if you didn't like it you can click the dislike button because that helps as well if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to click subscribe and ring that little bell thing because not only are we doing videos but we're going to be live streaming soon me and my partner Sal and we're going to be live streaming once a week and if you uh, can't make the live stream I'll dump the VODs up uh, say like a 20 minute VOD up every day so you can catch up with that as well. So yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to click the like button, comment down below, uh, tell us how you get on, and uh, I'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching, bye.